I'm Communications Director Krista Flash. And I'm Ward 1 Councilor Deborah Wempe. Thanks for joining us for this edition of City Council Highlights. Here's what happened at the June 4th City Council meeting. We will upgrade the signals at the 9th Street and Highway 51 intersection and do some construction work as well. This involves connecting the sidewalks and adding a second left turn lane to the eastbound exit ramp onto 9th Street. The goal is to move traffic more efficiently. We expect construction to begin sometime this summer. The Events Park is getting two new power distribution units. This equipment will allow the park to host larger festivals. The Events Park has hosted several big events over the past couple of years, including the Cox Community Concert and for the first time in September, Scott Fest. To be notified of what's going on at the Events Park, go to BrokenArrowOK.gov and sign up for calendar alerts. The police department is getting two new police motorcycles. These bikes are replacing two older models which will be surplused. Motorcycles are especially important for traffic enforcement because it's easier for officers to measure speeds and check seatbelt usage. The fire department is donating 90 self-contained breathing apparatuses for educational use. These SCBAs are no longer usable and were replaced last year. The equipment will be used to train future firefighters in various fire management courses. Congratulations to Stephen Edgar and Dennis Sagely, who have been reappointed as presiding and alternate judge for the Broken Arrow Municipal Court. Judge Edgar has served on the Municipal Court since 2000, and Judge Sagely has served since 2005. Congratulations once again. Our legal team really appreciates you. Also, congratulations to Carolyn Schaefer, who was nominated to the Convention and Visitors Bureau. Carolyn is with Broken Arrow Girls Softball and will represent the sports industry on the board. Congratulations, Carolyn. In Municipal Authority business, we renewed our contract with the Metropolitan Environmental Trust, also known as the MET, which operates a recycling depot here in Broken Arrow at 302 North Elm. Residents may drop off most recyclables here, such as plastic, cardboard, aluminum, and glass. The MET will also continue managing requests to safely dispose of hazardous household waste. BA residents may drop off household pollutants at the City of Tulsa facility for free by calling the MET and making an appointment for drop-off. To learn more, visit MetRecycle.com. In community events, Taste of Summer is Saturday, June 9th at Central Park. Come out to enjoy carnival food, vintage cars, the marketplace, and of course, delicious Bluebell ice cream. Tickets are $5 per person and sell fast, so get yours today. Tuesdays in the Park starts June 5th. Come out to Central Park every Tuesday evening in June to listen to free live local music. Find the full list of acts at baarts.org slash events. The Military History Center will host a Flag Day ceremony Saturday, June 16th at 1.30. The ceremony will feature speeches, patriotic music, and the raising of the American flag, as well as flags for each branch of the military. Special thanks to the Military History Center for hosting this event. An update now on the revitalization of Elm and New Orleans area. We held our first public workshop on May 31st. Residents had a chance to give their input on what they want to see at the intersection, and our consultants explained market trends and existing factors at the intersection that could impact how the redevelopment will happen. You can watch the full presentation on our YouTube channel. Also, an exciting update on small cell technology in Broken Arrow. AT&T is moving forward with its plan to bring 5G cell service to its local customers. This will make BA the first city in Oklahoma to get 5G service and will help in attracting new residents and businesses to our community. That's it for this edition of City Council Highlights. The next meeting is June 18th. Have a great day, everyone. For the full agenda and video of the City Council meeting, go to BrokenArrowOK.gov. If you have any questions about items discussed in the meeting, please contact the City Manager's Office at 918-259-8419 or email mspurgeon at BrokenArrowOK.gov.